I'm Manny Gonzalez and I'm speaking of stress and I'm in a beautiful place this morning a place called the Portage River Walk and Park it's an amazing place it's our first time here and we've met some really nice people that have told us the history of this place but as we travel around as we walk and exercise and enjoy the beautiful Sun the clear sky the sparkling water it's so enjoyable it's invigorating it makes you feel good and as we think about my theme speaking of stress it's so important for everybody to begin to think seriously to consider how can you minimize stress my three keys speak of number one having some sort of spiritual basis in your life I thank God every day. Thank you this morning, my God, for this wonderful day. And you know, I got to laugh. My wife says, man, will you ever stop clowning? And I say, when you stop laughing, you stop living. So laugh a little bit, enjoy life. Dance a little bit, sing in the shower. Do things that are going to make you feel good. The third thing is to be thankful. An attitude of gratitude. Science shows that those that are thankful, that appreciate people, appreciate things around them, are happier. And they have that positive attitude. And you know, a positive attitude doesn't guarantee success. However, that negative attitude that some of you have is going to guarantee a fall in your life, a rotten life. So that as we go through life, as we age, I was just talking to a gentleman, he runs here and he was saying, age is catching up with me. I got the aches and pains. We all have the aches and pains as we get older. However, we don't have to focus on that. If you focus on my pain here and there, you're never going to do anything in life. So get up, move around, and think about good old Manny Gonzalez, speaking of stress, who tells you it's important to balance your life. Have discipline. Get up and do things that are good for you. Open the shades. Open the windows. Look out the door. Walk around your garden. Go up and down the steps. Do anything, anything that's going to get you to move. Because when you're moving, you're getting out of your rut. You're getting out of that negativity that so many people struggle with. And I like to run. I walk. I exercise at home. I stay very active and I plan on doing it as long as I can. But the minute the cold weather sets in, <laughs> I don't want to do anything, but I've got to stay active. So I encourage you, get out, enjoy the day, enjoy people around you like this gentleman that we spoke to. Everywhere we go, my wife and I talk to people. Most people are very friendly, especially when you're outdoors, and you give them attention. You know what? The most important thing in somebody's life is themselves. Them. Me, me, me. So the moment you say to somebody, good morning, you look good, they appreciate that. Good morning, I like your red tennis shoes. Ha, ha, ha. I like your shades. Do anything that makes people feel good about themselves. And as you do that, you develop rapport. You even communicate with people. Get out of your funk. Get out of your shell. Stop being afraid of everything and everybody. And as you know, turn off that boob tube. Forget the news. Like our pastor says, the media has a way of taking something small and blowing it up. They make a mountain from a little molehill. So don't believe everything you hear on the media or see on TV or even on Facebook. There's so much fake news. There's so much fear in people. Don't fall into that. Don't feed into the negativity. Refuse that. Reject it. I stop watching the news. I stop being so negative. And you know what? All I say is, dear God, give me another day of life. Help me with my medical condition. Allow me to be good to people. And remind me, dear God, that this life is short and we have to enjoy it while we can. I talk to many people and say, one day I'll go out. Yeah, I'll go for a walk one of these days. Yeah, I'll go take a vacation. There's no better time than now. So if you're a procrastinator, <laughs> long word, 
I've been a procrastinator about something, but there's certain things you prioritize in life. You focus on what's good for you. And Manny Gonzalez, speaking of stress, reminds you of my three keys to survive that mental men meltdown. I can't even say it. So that go through life, think about what the good Lord has in store for you. Be appreciative of what you have. Laugh, enjoy life, and remember, Manny Gonzalez loves you, prays for you, and wants the best for you. That's why I do these programs in these beautiful locations. That just like I come out here, you can come out here. You can go to your park, you can go to your beach, you can go somewhere, anywhere, to get out of your routine, to get out of your mood. Because everybody I know, nobody out there doesn't have a problem with stress. So that again, Manny Gonzalez speaking of stresses, God bless you, I love you, keep your eyes on the good Lord, and stay healthy.